conference and use the code Tim Dillon for 10% off. Sheath underwear is great. It works as underwear and a bathing suit. Go to sheathunderwear.com. The owner of Sheath Underwear, the founder of Sheath Underwear, was um, a soldier. And I like to support businesses of the troops. And um, it, they have a flexible pillowcase for your junk. It's literally all I wear. They're the best. You have to try it yourself. Give them a Google, sheathunderwear.com. The inventor, Robert Patron, mm -hmm. check the story. It's interesting and even somewhat inspiring. It is inspiring. It really is. Do you know the sheath underwear story? No. Robert was uh, in the service. I forget which branch, Marines or something. Maybe not. Maybe Army. I don't know. He went to Iraq. He went, he had like three tours or four or something crazy. Three or four tours in Iraq. And then he came home and he had a little PTSD. And he murdered his wife and his kids. He murdered his wife and his two children. And then he started this underwear company. And it, it's so comfortable to me that I don't know why anyone wears anything else. He bludgeoned them. He bludgeoned his wife in front of the children first. And then he said he couldn't live with uh, the types of people that they would grow up to be. So he killed both of them. This is sad, but this is common and this is what happens. But this is what heroes sometimes do. And he killed his family. And then he started an underwear company. And it is really great. And it's because it cradles your junk in a very good way. You know, he learned about the importance of underwear when he was organizing um, the warlords in Afghanistan who like to fuck lady boys in Afghanistan, many of them children. He learned about the importance of underwear because uh, the climate in Afghanistan is very interesting. It's very hilly. The only thing that grows there is opium. And they, they would walk around a lot and they would chafe. Their junk would chafe. And they wanted their junk to be nice for when they just submerged it into the child lady boys that uh, are running around Afghanistan and we were organizing the warlords to overthrow the Taliban because the warlords, even though they were pedophile opium farmers, we felt that they would construct a, a successful democracy in uh, Afghanistan. So the warlords had gone to Robert and said, we need to cradle our junk so we could continue fucking these lady boys uh, in tents. And so that, because it's what we do, and then we can uh, start work on roads and bridges and a library. So he learned about underwear from them. He also learned about underwear uh, when a lot of it was so hot in Guantanamo Bay. They used to put people in like a hot box and it would be so hot. And the guards that would have to check on them would say, hey, man, so much sweat. You know, the balls are sticking to my leg. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I see, I, I got to check on this guy every three minutes to see if we've killed him. And then he'd go, why is that guy even in here? He'd go, I don't know. And he goes, he goes, but I need underwear to cradle my junk. You see? He also learned about under, uh, underwear uh, the day after he shot Benazar Budo in the face. After he shot Benazar Budo in the face, he learned... He was sitting in a cafe in Karachi, Pakistan, and he said, I wish something would cradle my junk right now. And one of the Afghani warlords was like, we can get a child to do it. He's like, no, 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 I'm not into that. So they said, well, uh, you should uh, invent an underwear. I'm doing the ad the way they want. I'm just, hey, I'm just following orders. SheathUnderwear.com, 20% off. Use the code TIM. <laughs> we have to say that. We have to say that.